Hi, hope you are doing well. So in this video, we'll be talking about three approaches you can take to do extremely well in the quantitative ability section or the quant section of CAT. Now, first of all, you need to understand what do you need to do extremely well in the QA section of CAT. Now, past data suggests that if you can do roughly 40% of the questions correctly or even a little lower, you will get an extremely good percentile in the quant section of CAT. So you will perhaps be in the top 3 to 5% of the CAT aspirants in the quant section if you can roughly get somewhere between 35 to 40% of the questions in the quant section correct. Doesn't that sound simple? Now let's look at three ways how you can probably get to that. The first way is a little extreme, but you could theoretically follow this approach and still do extremely well. What's the first way? It's that you simply leave out roughly 30 to 40% of the topics that you don't like and become an expert in the remaining 60 to 70% of the topics. That gives you a fairly good shot at you know, getting the benchmark that you need to hit to do extremely well. So if there are areas in quant that you absolutely dis dislike or are uncomfortable with, you need to find pockets of comfort and excel in those areas. A little extreme as I said, but this approach has, is something that is proven to be extremely useful, especially for people taking up CAT preparation for a very short duration because they, have, they are forced to take those risks and sometimes these things do come up. What's the second approach? The second approach is a very safe approach, but a little more sensible for most people. It is that you do, do not leave out anything, you do everything, but you reach a certain minimum level so that if there is an easy question from any topic, you are able to do that. You do not become an expert in too many topics, that's fine. So you're not looking at brilliance in certain specific topics, but an overall comfort level with all the areas to a degree where if you find some doable question from any topic, you don't have any notion, okay, this is something I don't want to do. You, you nail it regardless of the topic that it comes from. And if there are questions that are tougher from any area, you just let them go. Because as we discussed earlier, you don't really need to get too many questions right to do really well in the con section of CAT. Now, what is the risk you run with this approach? Supposing the exam is tough. So if exam is tough in the sense that overall, all the questions are relatively tougher than expected in all the topics, then you run the risk that you, you don't get enough questions correct because your expertise is a little low in all the topics. So what's the third approach? Probably you guessed it. It's a combination of the first two approaches. In this, you are a little more cautious about the topics that you leave. So, kuch do teen char topics jo aapko katai bhi pasand nahi hai, jo aapko dekhe hi lagta hai, ye to mujhe nahi karega. Aap un topics ko bilkul dar kinar kar sakte hai. Aap unko cold storage mein dal sakte hai. Aap unko bhul sakte hai. For example, for me, even though I am from an engineering background, permutation and combination is, a, is an area I never liked. So, it's an area I always let go of. This is a smart strategy also because it helps you in your question selection as well. But when you leave only a few topics, you try and hit a higher level, at least the intermediate level in all the other topics or as many topics as possible. Now this covers both scenarios. If the cat is tougher in almost all the areas, you still in roughly 80 to 90% of the topics, you still have the expertise to do something and get the score that you need to get. And if it's easy, you still have your bases covered. You know almost 80-90% of the topics and you can make all of them count, right? So the third approach is perhaps the most balanced. But again, you know what works for you best. So it's important that you decide. But at all times, you keep in mind that you don't need to be perfect in every topic. You don't need to do every topic in detail to do well. So one very important thing that you can take away from this is that if you have certain pockets of fear, you can completely dismiss them. If there are certain areas or topics 
that you find yourself completely uncomfortable with you do not need to lose your sleep over it you don't need to worry too much about it you can just let them be and focus on the rest all you need is that critical number of 40 to 50% you know correct questions if you can hit that you're probably in the top 2 3 4 percentile of cat takers in the conversation hope one of these strategies makes sense to you let me know in the comments below as to which strategy is something that you identify with or something that gives you the confidence okay this is something that is more likely or most likely to work for me so in case you like the video in case it added some value or you learned something out of it please do press the like button that is the only feedback that we get in terms of knowing where we stand and whether what we are creating for you is helpful or not thanks a lot see you soon again